Skylar Anderson, junior outfielder. Corey Parker, senior shortstop. Ashton Curry, junior catcher. Allison Stites, senior catcher. Maylee Bain, junior pitcher. So let's face it, pitchers don't hit. In the stance phase, the deltoid supraspinatus and the upper trapezius are used to hold the bat up. The right scapula is rotated upward. The knee is slightly flexed. The shoulders are elevated. The right shoulder is abducted while the left is adducted. As the hitter loads, she performs hip and knee flexion and hip abduction during the step. As she brings her hands up and back, the right scapula rotates upward more and the left scapula abducts. The deltoid upper fibers of the trapezius and the supraspinatus cause the right shoulder joint to abduct. The pectoralis major and coracobrachialis teres major and the latissimus dorsi cause the left shoulder to abduct. In the movement phase, all movements in the next two phases are the same, only extended in the follow-through phase. During the movement phase, the hitter will use her hips to pull her hands to the ball. The rhomboids and middle and lower trapezius cause the left scapula to adduct as the serratus anterior, pectoralis minor, and rhomboids cause the right scapula to abduct and rotate downward. The deltoid, latissimus dorsi, infraspinatus, and teres minor are involved in the horizontal abduction of the left shoulder. The right shoulder diagonally abducts because of the pectoralis major, coracobrachialis, and deltoid. The left side of the hip internally rotates. The muscles involved are the gracilis, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. The right side of the hip rotates externally thanks to the iliopsoas, pectineus, biceps femoris, gluteus maximus, and gluteus medius. The left knee extends while the right flexes. Plantar flexion occurs in the right foot using the gastrocnemius, soleus, tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus, flexor hallucis longus, peroneus longus, and the peroneus brevis.